that spring's got to come out first. It's got a little rip right there. That's not a good sign, that burnt marks. But it's got a good gasket. The, bear, the uh, main bearing is good still. The spring's got to come off first. One of the first things, I don't have to take the front panel off. shape of it. I'd rather use this one here. This one. It's kind of nice and round so it fits. This one got packed in a corner somewhere. And... Okay, so this comes off. We're going to take this front panel off here. Loose. Gotta be careful with that keeper right there. There's a hose clamp right there. That hose can't clamp cannot cannot touch that. Cannot touch the rubber, it will poke a hole in it. Hose clamp right on the bottom for the drain, the weep hole. Gotta be careful with that. Okay, so we take this bottom panel off. There's just a clips that hold it on. There's little clips on the top. Push down, pull out, hinges out from those hinges. And it looks like somebody released whatever, put a soap bag in here. It got caught in here, never got washed out, and it ate this seal apart. Okay, so see that's got to come off up to come off so you have to lift that up off those little deals to come off once you take the four screws off got these little lips here this little lip here to lift it up up and over and these are the clips that I'm talking about you got to be careful that they don't um, they should be pointing outward and not inward, in particular this one on the top, because it will uh, po uh, eventually poke a hole in the top of this boot. And once again, you can see where it was leaking. Um, it's these little doodad things, they, get, they got dropped, one got dropped in here, it didn't get all the way, it just sat there and melted this thing. Basically, it melted a hole in it. This is this is actually minor. This is probably not causing the problem, but that's uh, what they figured it was. So this clamp's got to come off here. This has got to come out, and then we can take that off. Okay, this boot thing. It actually fits in between there. It doesn't have much to grab onto, but it does grab on. It looks harder than it is. Just press it and wiggle it and it'll go on. And this thing here, you gotta make sure that this, these clamps do not touch the rubber or they're not near the rubber because when this thing goes back and forth, it can poke holes.